finally, to give us something different. Okay, so we've got this wheel. It's got attached, it's attached to a bucket. Hoist it up. If the angular displacement is such and such, where t's in seconds determine the velocity, the acceleration of the bucket. Okay. All right. Well, let's highlight those. Those are our targets. We need to find the velocity and the acceleration of the bucket. Okay. Now, let me translate that just a little bit. Because what we're talking about there is a VT and an AT. Okay. VT and AT have to do with what's happening over here. Okay. We've got a VT and then we're going to have some acceleration associated with that. Realizing that what's happening there on the edge of that wheel is the same thing that's happening to the bucket is the key on this one. All right. So if we can get VT and AT, we have our answers. Now what they give us is information about theta. And it might kind of seem like, oh, oh, oh uh, what are we going to do here? But <laughs> this is this is pretty quick and easy, honestly, because we know that a position depends on r times theta, and we know that a vt depends on r times omega, and we know that the at depends on r times alpha. Therefore, if we find omega and alpha, we are done. Okay, we've got it. So we're just going to end up taking a series of derivatives to do that. So theta is 0.5t cubed plus 15t. And so omega is going to be 1.5t squared plus 15. And then alpha is going to be 3t like that. Okay, we're essentially done. I mean, we know the radius. Um, we could run the numbers here if we wanted to. Um, so t is 3 seconds. So maybe we should go ahead and do that. Okay, theta at 3 seconds. Omega at three seconds. And then let's figure out alpha at three seconds as well. Okay. So I'm going to grab my calculator on my phone. All right. So I'm going to do theta first. So I've got 0 0.5 times 3 times 3 times 3 plus 15 times 3. Okay, so I get 58 and a half for that one. And then omega, I got 1.5 times 3 squared plus 15. I got 28 and a half. And then finally my alpha value, I've got 3 times 3, that's a 9. Just like that. So now I can plug those into what I had earlier, and we can say that uh, VT is going to be R times omega. So that means we're looking at 0.75 onto the number we just got there, 28.5. And, uh, oops. AT is going to be R onto alpha. So now we're looking at 0.75 onto 9. All right. And uh, whatever those work out to be, um, that's it. That's our answer. Super easy. We like those.